hello great people african traveler again so today i'm in the beautiful area of karen as you can see from above and i uh, guess who are meeting uh we met sometimes back of a kenyan uh, from the united states who came back and he, he was investing in super super affordable homes and uh, so far he's touched so many lives so we're going to do a catch-up and uh, they are having some amazing amazing products in the market very unique real estate uh, market so stick around and uh, you're gonna be excited you're gonna be challenged so come so Fred <laughs> how are you hello I don't know if you guys remember Fred he was a Kenyan from uh, the States so and today also we have uh, Fred's brother who is uh, part of the company they run together Mr. Karaoke thank you welcome to the channel yeah, so, 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 sana. so yeah so today we're going to be uh, informed more of what you guys are doing so yeah uh, Mr. Fred Hey, great to see you again. How are you doing? Good, good. Uh, I see you doing well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> it's been a minute since I saw you. I know, yeah, that was some time last year. Yeah, and right now you're in a beautiful car. And yeah, business yeah. must be good. Not bad. We, uh, can, we can complain. Wow. Challenges here and there, but uh, we can complain. Wow, wow. Yeah. So, guys, today we're here just to get uh, more informed of the projects that Mr. Fred and the brother are doing right now. We, we're going to catch up with the, uh, Mr. Fred and the brother just to get enlightened on what they're doing in the market, what products they have. As I told you, you'll be enlightened at the end of the day. So, Mr. Fred, Santi Sana, can you please introduce to us and uh, tell us what Delta Homes is all about? Again, my name is uh, Fred Jero. Um, I'm a director in two companies which I own with my brother. One is Delta Homes and the other one is Bucon Technology. Uh, remember the time you came, we showed you a little bit on what technology is doing yes. and what it's all about. Uh, and the whole reason as to why the two companies is that Delta Homes uh, is a mother company. Okay. Uh, and Bucon was born out of the necessity yeah. uh, because we are changing how construction is being done. Uh, yeah. So Bucon basically is more of the technological part? Yes, it's the technology part of it. does a lot of research and also product development, making sure that the production of houses is uh, at a very competitive cost. Also, Bucon is doing construction for other people yeah. uh, and other developers uh, as Delta Home is continuing with its original businesses as we were doing. Today we'll be talking more of not what you are selling, but uh, enlightening investors who want to be part of production or part of the manufacturing side of it, yeah. uh, in terms of producing houses. So in other words, um, we are creating an avenue for people to come in as developers uh, with the name of investing their funds or their money to make more money out of the product that you're making. Oh, wow. So uh, we also have Fred's brother. So the company is both on uh, with you and your brother. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So Mr. Karaoke, uh, he's also an architect and he's going to uh, give us, uh, tell us more about also Delta and himself as well. Thank you viewers. My name is Andrew Karaoke. I'm an architect. I'm a technical director in Delta Homes Limited and also in Bilcon Technology Limited. Uh, just to clarify again what my brother said, Delta Homes normally do our own projects. But Bitcoin is the technology part of it, whereby we are also developing for other people. We can do your house in maximum of two, three months. If it's a machine, it can take at least 21 days. We are done with the house to do one to one month. Yeah. We, we are done with the structure, then yeah. one month we do the, the finishes. So that is who we are, we are all over the country. We are well structured, our business is well structured. If it is construction, it's a team handling construction. If it's design, there are people handling design. If it is uh, survey work, there are people handling survey work. If it is quantity serving, there are people handling quantity serving. So we are well structured and the team is working very well. And that's why we're able to move the business faster. And that's why we're able to reach you. Thank you, everyone. So today we're talking about Delta Homes and uh, yeah, you'll get all the details as you can see on the screen, on the comment section, as well as on the uh, description box below. So Asante, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you have an amazing, an amazing office. I didn't leave it the last time. Yeah, yeah. We moved from uh, Westland less than a month ago. Uh -huh. uh, we relocated to current because we have a larger space. Yes. Uh, we are employing a lot of people currently who yeah. will support our production of houses. Yeah. So that's why we moved here because of the space. So guys, if you can see the environment, this just tells you where we are. We are in Karen, in the mid, in the heartland of Karen. And uh, yeah, I think it's more tranquil. It feels more homely. It's more friendly to even customers. They feel at home when you come here. And we have and, enough parking. And, yeah, and also the parking. I also like that about the place. And you don't 
pace amazing so guys we get to the place where we also want to understand how uh, delta home uh, got to start and uh, how fred left the u.s i know he gave us a bit of it on the last time so uh, okay so fred and uh, yeah, they're gonna tell us an, an exciting story of how delta homes uh, started thank you so for, for that opportunity i think uh, it's it's always good to know where people have come from yeah. uh, my story is very long by the way it's very long you but i try <laughs> can take actually days yeah. but I, i'll put it in a nutshell so i moved from kenya in 2009, around October. Went to US, landed in California. I was living with my brother. One year down the line, I joined the military, um, US Navy, mm -hmm. 2011 to 2015. Upon my departure from the military duties, I came to Kenya to visit, but with a name to do business. I met my brother who was doing architectural designs, and I told him I want to invest some money. So my brother tells me he has an idea we can invest in real estate. Uh, and for me, that was not the kind of money I was looking for to invest. So he told me he had an idea. We get somebody with a piece of land, we partner with them, he do the design, we sell them off plan, and then from there, we, we generate the funds to do the project. So when I went back to US, the idea clicked more. So I remember when I was in US, I called him. I asked him, uh, do you have somebody who is ready to partner with us? And he says, yeah, I have somebody who is ready to partner with us. So I told him, let's go ahead and do that. So we formed the company, the Delta Homes Company. Oh, by then. So yeah, and he started the process of uh, uh, architectural and uh, structural process of getting the approvals. And in the process, the first piece of land, because there were two of them, 50 by 100, which we wanted to amalgamate make them a bigger project, uh, it turned out that some documents from the owner of the land were missing. So the kind of the project stored and I had already into it. And I kept calling my brother asking him, what is the progress? how is the progress, how is the progress? And he tells me the owner is very slow. Uh, he emailed me an email during that time and he tells me there's another owner of the land selling at 16 million and you want 10% down? We pay the balance within six months. It tells him, put your effort to where we have put the money first. You see? But he went ahead and talked to the owner of the 16 million land. And he said, I'm going to buy it. At that time, he had only 100,000 Kenya shillings. That is $1,000. <laughs> He's buying 16 million <laughs> land with $1,000 in the pocket. <laughs> and he signed a contract. What did you? What did you? What, what did you? What did you think you'll get the 16 million from 100,000 that you had, and a lost and a lost venture on one side? <laughs> oh, same. Our journey is a journey of faith. Yeah. Uh, simply because uh, sometimes you do, you don't see the whole staircase. You don't see the whole flight. You see the first step. You jump in. You get the second one. You go to the third one. Simply because opportunities are not seen with the eyes, they are seen with the mind. If you don't see opportunity, if you, if at the end of the day you want to see everything clear, you are not an investor, you are not a business person. A business person invests or put his money or start his work when he see the first step. The first step is enough. I'll tell you how this began. I learned somewhere in the, uh, in the Bible about four lepers. These four lepers, where they were, they were sick. Number one, they were sick. Number two, they were outcast. They were thrown out of their city. They had no food. Where they're coming from, there's no food. So, but on the other side of the camp, there was an enemy camp. There was enough food. And this guy said, if we sit here, we die. But if you go to the other side, mm -hmm. we may live. We may die the same way we could have died here. But we, when we go there, there are two options. Either we live or we, we die. die. Either way, we're going to die. I realize life offers two options. Only two options. It is either right or darkness. Either you succeed or fail. Either you try or you don't try. So this guy was selling the piece of land around 16 million. I asked myself, why don't I ask him? whether well, he can sell the land to me. And the guy I asked him, he said yes. Because if I don't ask him, it is a no. <laughs> but if I ask him, I have two options. Yes or no. <laughs> whether I get it 
or I don't get it. So when he accepted, I paid him 100,000. I told him, give me six months to pay the balance. So again, I'm operating under the same, whether I get it or I don't get it. So what I did, I did some design, 3Ds, and I actually, it costed me only 3,000 to print them and put them on site. Because I have only two options. If somebody sees it, either make a call and make a payment, or see it and don't make a payment. So why don't I try the side? I have an option. So I just stuck them on the uh, Kenya Power Post. <laughs> and uh, the first buyer called me and told me, I can see some houses here. How much are you selling? I told the buyer, 4.5 million. How much is deposit? One million. Where are the houses? When the guy went to say there was nothing. So I have two options. Because he has seen, he can either buy or not. No, not buy. Lucky enough, he bought. Wow. He bought and gave an actual deposit one million. The second buyer came on 9th, 9th, 2016. I had four buyers. That is like within a month? It was less than a month. You had? Actually, and four buyers who had put all the money that I needed, uh, they had put the deposit of one million each. So I started construction. In two months, I sold the entire estate. What? So that's, that's how Delta Homes was born. So Delta Homes is just a work of faith. With yeah. Yes, we just Actually, the, the project that you saw, you know, the first yeah. time you came in there. Yeah, yeah that, that was the first project. Uh, that, actually, the first is there. That's, that's where I live. Where we met first. Yeah, you know, I know, I know yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, then when I was handing over the first estate, I just said, well, why don't I put another one? They can either buy or <laughs> not buy. So I got the second one, the third one, the fourth one now. Yeah, we yeah. have a big history. You have over four, you build over... 400 units. Uh, over 400 units. Wow. Over 400 yeah. units. So when your brother told you that, hey, we need another 16 million, what did you think? <laughs> I thought he's just joking. Or he thinks that I'm sweeping money in America. So I started thinking, He's, th he's one of the people who think that people in America have a lot of money, <laughs> you know. But I was very surprised because th that project, he sent photos on my WhatsApp when I was driving. And he tells me, those, those houses are mine. I asked him, what do you mean? Is it for the first piece of land we had? He said, no. This is the one you, you said you don't want to. The 16 million. The 16 million one. I asked him, how did you get the 16 million? <laughs> It took me, by the way, uh, within two months, I had over 44 million in the account. Within so two months. you paid off the land. You paid it. Yeah. Oh, oh. I, I almost told you, send me that statement. I want to see it. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> you see, because he, he has come from a humble beginning, you know? Wow. So, and, and that's how Delta's story started. And our vision, as I said, we also would like to help as many people as possible who are in our situation. There was a time we could not afford those houses. There was a time I could not afford the two million. You get me? It was a struggle. It was a struggle. But I can also help somebody now who is in that struggle to get a place they can go home. That's our driving force. Wow. To change the community and impact more Impacting people as possible. Yeah. So an investor who is ready to join us, yeah. to change the narrative, to change the story, to help people get m more houses, please come on board. And we are going to walk you through the whole journey. And you never regret. And we are not driven by money. Mm. We are driven by passion. And the, and the thing is, we have realized, for us, no matter how we do it, we cannot build the entire country. We cannot build the entire Africa. Yes. But the moment we bring people in, <laughs> we can easier. build the entire Africa. We can build the, the entire Africa. We have people calling from Ghana, Congo, Zimbabwe. I was surprised to get a call from Zimbabwe after you did the first video. Yeah. I remember I met a, a Congolese friend from... Yeah, yeah, yeah there was a Congolese yeah. friend. Actually, we're in communication with We're in communication. Wow. We are planning wow. to, to, you know, to keep interaction because we, we, we see more business opportunities in Congo. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, if I keep it to myself, I may not go anywhere. You, 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 you understand? Not, you're not... To not groove. Yeah, I, I, I believe that knowledge is what you share and multiplies. So, uh, and that's why we are giving people opportunities to also learn what we have done. From the video we did last time, we received amazing calls, amazing emails from my end as well. I don't know how it was from your end. Uh, I would say actually the calls or the emails that came to us were, were overwhelming. Mm -hmm. um, I came to realize there was a huge problem. And sometimes when you are solving a problem, 
yeah. you find that uh, more people you 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 know come to you you know because you're providing a solution the reason as to why actually we have moved from Westlands to Karen yeah. is because of the support team that we need uh, to help us uh, be able to propel in this business and also be able to, to provide uh, more solutions to most people amazing so uh, I'm sure you got so many calls you couldn't convert them all <laughs> and I think I made a mistake also because I did, uh, I put my own uh, personal number there, uh, okay. so my phone rings all the time. Uh, at times I wake up with over 100 texts uh, from WhatsApp. Uh, and my wow. phone rings like throughout Sunday, it's like I don't have a, an off day. I think it was something that... Uh, it wasn't expected. It wasn't expected. <laughs> I didn't see, I didn't know uh, how much of response I'll get from that video. So guys, um, for those who Fred did not be able to pick your call, so right now uh, we will be able to share you uh, contacts that they will be able to receive uh, around the clock. So if you felt mad or sad, please bear with him. He has a family, he has another life, so he couldn't be able to pick all the calls. So stick around, we'll share with you contacts as well as website where you can easily uh, be able to reach him as well as the major amazing projects that are coming up. Uh, the other day we were launching uh, Zuri and it's an amazing, an amazing project. Yes, yes. Guys, uh, you could see like the light in the face of uh, the families that were coming to open the house. The investors in the building from the US, they're really happy. And uh, this is a gap that especially Kenyans in uh, overseas or Kenyans abroad have had a problem in terms of believing on who to invest through because uh, families sometimes, you know, it may it never really ends well in some companies we've seen how many major companies that have gone down and uh, i don't know what really inspires this so and this is really uh, helping a lot of families uh, as i could see uh, from the event that we came uh, during the lunch just give us a brief about zuri this is an amazing apartment i remember i came when it was still under construction when we yeah, did the video yeah. and the final product was super quality amazing just give us a bit about zuri Sure, sure. So um, Zuri, Zuri is, um, I would say, is a journey. Uh, it's a journey to the future. Yeah. And especially for people who are outside the country yeah. uh, and want to invest back home. Um, I remember it was 2018 that I invited my brother to US. Yeah. Uh, he had come to sell up one of the projects that we are doing. And for sure, we couldn't get people to, to, to buy. I mean, because I think the prices were a little higher than what most people could afford at the time. And I remember him telling me that uh, I get 10 friends of mine mm -hmm. and then we do something for them, okay? At cost, that means we're just, we were just paying for the materials and the labor for that project. So nothing, you're making nothing from the project? We were not making anything from it. You know, it's something that you do uh, to show others what they need to, uh, to, do, uh, to do in the future. So we, we had to take a lot of burden uh, mm -hmm. for that and I'm happy that we're able to gather the 10 people uh, actually, I'm the one who looked for the piece of land. We formed the company, we put these people together, um, and they, they became a company. As you witnessed on uh, May, May yes. 28th, we were able to hand over that unit uh, to the 10 people who came together. Uh, and this is something that can be duplicated, and this is something that we wanted to do for others who really want to, to invest back home. You know, when one thing about one unique thing about Zuri uh, for me was when we were launching, all of the family members, when the people who came were family members, yeah. all of the all the other team were in the in the states. Uh, a few members out of the group have come to see where the project is uh, because they, they didn't have a chance to come at the time we were doing construction and finishing. Mm -hmm. uh, it's I think there are only two from the group who managed to come to Kenya. Uh, and see where the project was. But I used to update them through photos, through uh, reports. Uh, they were very clear in terms of the progress of the, the project. And they were happy. I mean, there was, and I never received even a family, family members coming to see where the project was. You, is it a monthly update or a weekly update to them? Uh, monthly updates most yeah. of the time. And then we used to have like a weekly, especially towards the end, uh, we used to have weekly meetings, mm -hmm. you know, updating each other where we are at. What you do is basically you're selling 
is it a trust? Is it something like, you know, that is something that is missing on uh, most of the companies that are coming up, are setting up in the country. Right. What is that unique thing about Delta Homes that uh, most of them, the Kenyans abroad, Kenyans in the country, would want to, you know, um, like work with Delta? Because this is something exciting. You know, this is something amazing. And uh, to start a project from ground, you said you even looked for land mm. and you build it up without them being here. Mm. Like what is that, what, what, what does Delta Home offer in terms of uh, that trust? I would say, I say uh, we as Delta Homes, we started very humbly and mm. I think our vision drives us, which is to ensure that we can, uh, we can enable people to own houses yeah. very affordably in very prime areas, quality houses, without you know, coughing too much money from their pockets. Because a house is a need, it's a basic human need, and yeah. I believe for us we feel entitled to be part of that uh, big picture. Because it's, you cannot deny this is just a basic need, that human need. The first project, Zuri, which we did, was based more on trust. I'm very happy to say that it was very successful. But we have now created structures around the concept. Because what we have is how can people invest without losing money. And we'll be talking more on how uh, other investors now can come on board yeah. and be part of the big uh, project. Uh, in other words, we are inviting people on the development side of it. Okay, so those who want. Come in as investors yes, than, uh, they'll be on our side of developing yeah. a product that can be sold in the market. So those investors, we are giving them opportunities, which is surrounded by the structures that we enable them never mm. to lose money uh, uh, during the time the construction is being done. So, Architect Karaoke, um, from what I saw, the projects that you've shared with us here, uh, there's so many people who would want to venture into this. I don't know if you can give us uh, insight in what is coming up uh, with Delta Homes uh, and uh, how people can come in, in what ways uh, they can come in. I think before I answer that question, I want to talk about uh, how Zuri was born. Uh, I went to U.S. after my brother invited me to come to go and uh, talk to people about investment also sell some units there. I was there for about six weeks. But amazingly, I did not sell any units. For six weeks? For six weeks. Simply because the cost, the, the price I was selling the houses was too high. And people told me now, you can make a product for us, a smaller one. Something between three million, four to five million. And uh, I told my brother, I want to give you a reason to come back. And because we are friends, yeah. I've heard stories about how people, relatives stole money from them, how, uh, there was sweet old money in Kenya and everybody who is investing in Kenya is very cautious who am I sending money to. So what I told my brother to do, get friends. We start by trusting as we make the structure. Yeah. And I told them I want to do something that nobody else has ever done. I want to give you a house at cost. Sell that house and make profit. Actually at Zuri people are making even 100% profit. The Zuri that we launched the, the other day. Zuri that we launched the other day. The people who invested it. In yes, the, in those who America. trusted us, because we are not all con men. There are people who are honest, but con men are good enough, they go ahead of us. So that now people are not able to yeah, trust us. So the main idea was to show people, there is a Kenyan who can do things in a different way. There is a Kenyan who can be trusted. Because Zuri, I was getting zero out of that particular project. But I wanted to make an impact in the life of people who are in diaspora, also in Kenya, and also those who are in Kenya. So that when you invest, you are sure you are not putting money where you lose your money. Now we have better structures, somebody can invest any amount of money, you will not lose your money, we talk about that. Yeah. So that's how Zuri was born. So I told my brother, get 10 of your friends, let's see how it goes. And within a week or two, he and all the, the people you wanted. So we put them in one company, they were all director shareholders, and then from there we bought a piece of land. After buying the piece of land, we did the calculation to them. This particular unit is a three bedroom house, it will cost you this amount of money to do construction, and they invested that money. Gradually, pole pole without being pushed, mm. uh, according to their ability, that's how they invested the money. And we have walked the journey, and we have finalized the project that you can see. We handed over the project. Now we said, you know, why not, why not do it only to other people who don't even know us? If those who know us, 
they have already seen the product, then they can talk to other people about the product. So that's why we are coming up with the new product. And this new product, yeah. we are actually targeting Roaka simply because there is high return on investment. Roaka is a proper business hub. It's a good dormitory area. Where when you put your money, yeah. you can easily get your money back in terms of rent. If you want to liquidate your unit, yes. you can still you get easily. between more than 70% of what you have invested. You can easily get that. And the market is needed for this. So when I went to US again, uh, I, I realized yeah. all of us will go to sell products. All of us will go to sell land, we go to sell houses. Depending Without the showing people on the other end, how do you invest your money also and get a high return? Because everybody is selling house. Everybody is selling a piece of land. Why don't you come on the side of the investor, investor. also and you make your money out of it? So this is what we are doing. Zuri is a perfect example. Somebody put his money and get over 80%, 100%. So that is a perfect example. This is what we want to do. But we, are want, we want to show you how you secure your money. You want to do a project in Waka. You want to do a, a project in uh, Westland, whereby you put your money and you can get almost 90, 100%. A very primary return on your investment is very high. You can go to a website, check what you, we are posting there. If you have any question, if you're interested, put your interest where you want to put your money, then you're able to communicate back to you and show you how you put your money into investment and also make money. You can build a house and sell to someone else. At cost, you can build a house and sell to somebody else. Yeah. So this is what we are putting in the market today. It's a unique product. I don't know whether there's anybody else who's doing this, but ideally the reason why you're doing that, remember life is not also about having money, it's also having an impact on the other side of the life. So we need to do that more. Fred, please elaborate to us. I want to invest in this project. Come in as an investor, especially, mm -hmm. how do I come in as an investor? Because that's a new concept. As you say, probably they're trying to understand what is, what is an investor? How do I come in as an investor, number one? And how do I secure my funds, me as, I as an investor? And who's Delta now at this stage? Sounds good. So uh, as Delta Homes, we, we have realized, you know, you cannot actually build the entire country. Okay? Yeah. Uh, we, I would say we are too small to build the entire country. Yeah. Uh, there's so many opportunities for other people to, to invest in. And as I said, our, our vision also drives us, which is to ensure that people can have quality, affordable houses. And uh, the major problem we have seen is uh, production cost. So what we are doing, we are bringing other investors on board yeah. so that we can produce more houses. If you have funds that you know you can put in the housing, and somebody can be able to get that house at a competitive price. Yeah. That's, where, that, that's where we are inviting them. Because you see now, these people are in the process of helping someone get a quality house, you're also making a coin out of it, okay? Uh, without, you know, without having those exaggerated uh, selling because, prices. Yes. We have partnered with major banking institutions in Kenya who have understood our vision and who want to support us in doing this business. Yeah. Uh, and the way we are doing it, in these banking institutions, we, for example, let's say a project in Roaka, we open up an account specifically for that investment. Okay. Okay? It's called client account. So the way that account works, we cannot withdraw funds from it. Okay? Okay. So the investors put money in the account. And for me, as Delta Homes, I'll fund the project. All what I need is to have investors that are interested in that project. If I get like, let's say I'm doing 20 units in Roaka, and I get 20 people who are interested to have a property in Roaka. So they put that money in that project. And these people can even have statements for their contributions and all that monthly, yeah. uh, whereby that they are assured their funds are secure. I will not use that money to buy land, neither will I use that money to build, because I have my own way of funding that project, okay? So upon completion of that project, so the banking institution now, we will have uh, the, the, the time we exchange the keys, yes. the money will be transferred to us as, as Delta Homes. So at the time of completion? At the time of completion. So before that you're using purely the funds, uh, the, your funds? Yeah, you are funding it to the completion. We are funding that project to completion. Wow. So once people see that you know, they are happy with the product and yeah. it's completed, 
then they can, uh, the money will be transferred to us. For example, one of the projects that you're doing, which you'll be launching very soon, uh, is in Roca, yeah. uh, and this, uh, it's, it's bed, one bed. It's, uh, that's actually ranges from studios, one bed, two bed, and three bed. The cost ranges between 1.9 to 5 million. So an investor can come in and say, and actually the selling price of the same is going between 5.6 to 9.5. So an investor who comes in may say, I'm interested to own a unit in Roca. Mm -hmm. So they pay the 50%, okay? The balance will be paid into that account during the construction period. And remember, this money is not being used to either build mm -hmm. or buy land. I am funding the entire project at that time. So that these investors can have security of their funds. Yeah. So, so in case, uh, God forbid, Delta does not uh, build the house or anything comes up, the they funds can, goes back to the Yeah, they can, get, they, can be, they can get back their returns. Wow. And for those uh, probably have invested and uh, things go wrong, and not from Delta, so from my, from my end, mm. and they want to get a refund, how does it go? So there are two ways you can get a refund, because um, we have the return policy also on the, mm -hmm. on the, on the money invested. Um, so the first way you can get the return, let's say you have invested, uh, assuming you, it's a studio which is going for 1.9 million, you have given 50% of it, and in the process you are unable to continue the payment. Yeah. You can get, uh, because you're an investor, you can get someone else who will take over the payments. Yeah. Okay? We, we just do the paperwork to transfer your share to, to the new person. Okay. Okay? And upon that time, they, they have to clear, they have to pay the entire amount that you have paid Okay. And then you get that refund immediately. You can get that refund immediately. Or else whereby you are not able to get an investor who is, to, who is supposed to continue with your payment, uh, we can still sell that, that unit or we can get another investor on your behalf. Okay. But that fund will be refunded upon that com the completion of that unit. Because remember our projects have specific timeline. Yeah. Uh, which is between 12 months to maximum of 15 months. Wow. Yeah. So whoever has invested and wants to pull out and they cannot be able to get an investor to continue the payment, they will get their refund uh, upon completion of the unit, which is about one year to 15 months. It's yeah. amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. And uh, Mr. Karaoke, yes. how do you manage to bring the cost, like you say, in Dwaka you have it like as a, from five point? 1.9 to, to 5 million. To 5 million for a three bed in Nairobi, that is, especially in a place like Dwaka, as you say, very near to UN, near to the biggest mall in the country, yeah. uh, major bypasses and roads coming to that area. This is a place that a normal three bedroom will be, might go by about eight, nine million. About 9.5 million. It almost mm. at, as you say, 40% cheaper. Like, how do you manage to do a project at this cost? Number one, we have also invested in uh, technology, mm -hmm. which makes life which makes construction more easier, more faster. It's actually almost seven times faster than the normal conventional method. Yeah. So for us to achieve lower cost, we must also go the technology way. Okay. Number two, remember also we are providing houses at cost, the production cost. If someone wants to get profit, yeah. you, you sell the same house to you at 9.5 million, a three bedroom at 9.5 million. The reason why it is lower is yeah. because you are coming in as an investor. And that's the only way you can get the house at cost. That house you can sell, that house you can get rent, whichever you want to do with the house. So that's what's making the cost come a bit lower. The use of technology, and then we are doing it at production cost. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Karuki, can you give us some insight on the Westlands project? Okay. Uh, yeah. Westland project, we want to use the same concept. Mm -hmm. For example, if I go back to Zuri, yeah. the cost of land was 10 million. We are doing 10 houses. That means every house is 1 million. House is one million. Wow. So in Westland, yes. one acre is about 500 million. And I'm around to do about 18 floors. 18 floors to 24 floors, whichever. Yes. So it means I'm bringing the cost of land down. So when an investor comes, the cost of construction in Waka is the same in Westland, but at least in Westland you do a high-end finishes. So you're able to get a house that is selling for 27 million at maybe 12 million or 14 million, depending on the finishes. 
So you can get double your investment. So that is what we are looking at. Mm -hmm. If you check on our website, you are providing the forms. Go and download the form, fill your details. If you're interested in Westland, you get it loading. And yes. in Westlands we're building we are home, three, home, um, which, uh, which type of houses? We want to do two bedrooms and three bedrooms. Two and three bedrooms. Two and three bedrooms. Uh, specific cost for it? 12 million or 14 million. Wow. In respectively, Westlands. yes, yes. In Westlands? Yes. And that's production now? That's production. That's production cost. cost. So when, you, when that product is being sold in the market, is somewhere between 20 to 27 million. Yeah, 24 so million to that 27 million. Yeah. If you want to ever live in Westlands, I think, for a two bedroom, the minimum, it can be, I think is about maybe 24. Um, uh, so Mr. Fred, I also mentioned about, you, apart from uh, investment, people can, can you have a, another package for retirement. Uh, yes. Can you please elaborate it to, for us to understand that? Uh, I think over the time I've realized yeah. most people want to retire back home. Majority of them, the people who are outside the country, majority of them want to retire back home. And I've come to realize uh, sometimes, like when you go to a place like U.S., you have stayed there for over 20 years, 30 years. It, it feels very new when you're coming to Kenya. And sometimes most people are hindered yeah. uh, by, by that fear. You know, they are, you're hindered. It's like you're beginning again. So they don't have a, a good footing. Yet they want to retire. And maybe somebody doesn't have uh, somebody to guide them. Because I'm talking to several groups of people who want to invest back home uh, in terms of retirement. They feel that they need to be a team, okay? They need to be, a f to, to be a team for them to be able to own land in prime areas yeah. and also be able to lower the cost of production of the houses. Because you see, when, when you're a team, that pro I mean, the, the whole process becomes easier. Yeah. Uh, and also, people want to live together. It's maybe the, the way they lived in the U.S. Yeah. So we have decided as Delta Homes that we are going to be a pathway for them to be able to settle and retire in Kenya comfortably whereby uh, they don't need, people don't need it to be a group for them to do any retirement uh, kind of a venture. The reason being, for me, we, we source the people. For example, I just need to make a product where I have the majority of the people want to live in that uh, place. For example, if I have people want to live in Thika, yeah. uh, and I can do a project maybe of 20, 30, 40 units. Yeah. I just need 40 units. And the, the people who are coming in, they will invest as individuals. Yet, as a group, you can decide out of the 20 or 40 units, we want five units. Because we are friends, we want to come together as friends, that would be fine. But remember, you get the costs, just like the way you can get as a group. Those subsidized costs in terms of production. Because you bring people together. Yeah, for me... People I'll, from different countries, different groups. Yeah, because oh, you see, I get, I get calls from Canada, UK, US people from South Africa, there are some others who are in Australia. So I have, I have people who, are in, who have the same interests as any other person who are there. So for, for them to come together is sometimes very hard sure. to get the people with the same like, like minds. Sure. In our website, uh, you see the retirement home that you're offering. And the only thing we need from people is just, you show me the interest. Show me, tell me your name, mm -hmm. uh, tell me, give me your email, your phone number, and where you'd like to live. And I'll structure a project for that, for that area. And I'll get you people who are like minds wow. from all over the country. Let's say you have lived in the U.S. For, for five, maybe 10, 15, 20 years together. Yeah. You can still own several units in the same section. Also, the people who have groups already that are already working. Mm -hmm. uh, currently, I have a group of 20 people that, are, that want to invest in Kenya. Such a group, they can tell me where they, want, where they have agreed to, to buy land. Uh, and I can assist in terms of buy land and then also designing. If they don't have any design, we can assist in that. Make their life very easy in terms of investing on their retirement homes. So we are not restricted to just our areas that we have selected. Mm -hmm. We can also work with groups who have selected areas or who have bought land anywhere. Our job will be as easy as just doing construction for them and uh, get their retirement homes the way they want it. And uh, in, this, in, the, in this package, does it... The how does it work? Is it, does it work like the rest uh, of uh, where people put in money in a, in a specific account or how does it work? The way we are doing it is it's the same as, you know, we are, we are building that trust and uh, a better way of people to invest back home. 
Uh, one, uh, as we said, we use our money first in every process we have agreed. Mm -hmm. Let's say, for example, we are building for 20 people and they want to start with the 10 units, for example. Yeah. We, the, we open an account, a client account, whereby they put the funds there. Yeah. Let's say the foundation is going for a million each, for example. That is 10 million. So I use the 10 million first. Okay. I do the foundations. Okay. Then, upon completion of that phase of the construction, then I get paid back. It's yes. kind of reimbursement. Okay. Whereby I'm always ahead. Instead of them paying me, giving me money to do the work, you I'm do doing the work right. first and then they pay me. Then we do the, the, the walls, the finishes, yeah, just they, like that. Just and the two. same step by step. And just the same done. step. The concept is the same whether you are doing a retirement home mm -hmm. or whether you are doing the, the investment. Yeah. The only difference is the time of payment. The, for investors, they have to put the funds together. Okay, for the yeah. entire for the entire project, well, upon completion, then I get paid. For retirement homes, we we can phase it out uh, on different phases. Maybe if it's foundation, I do foundation, they pay me that. We do the walls like that. that, yeah, so until yeah. completion. So, guys, I will leave the details on the screen throughout, as well as description box and comment box, so that whenever you need them, just read them through that. Uh, our website is www.deltahomes.co.ke. We also have several emails. One is info at deltahomes.co.ke and sales at deltahome.co.ke. If you email us through those emails, you will definitely get a response from us. And before uh, we go to the story part, I would like to, Mr. Karuki to tell us, uh, do you still do, I, want, I don't want a retirement, I just want a house. I have a project in mind. I, I want 10 story building in Kisi or Keroka mm. or whichever place, Mandera. Uh, do you still do those projects? Okay. Yes, we still do them. Yeah. We have clients from uh, Kisumu, clients from Kakamega, all over the country. Yeah. Using the same concept as my brother has explained. Yeah. Uh, you don't. You not lose your money. Yeah. You just open an account. You are signatory to that account. When we are done with the milestone, you reimburse us. That's why you don't lose your money. So we are still doing projects all over the country. All over the country. All over the country. We're also doing for individuals. For example, you want to build your mama house in mm -hmm. Kisumu or you want to build your own house in the, in the shacks, we can still work with you. Uh, even other developers who are, who, are, who are in the real estate business. Yeah. I'm proud to say that you're the only one in the country, probably in the entire Africa. Currently, we are producing houses through computers. Okay, so we can be able to, to, to actually assist other people who are in construction industry, we can be able to assist anyone else who is ready to do construction for whatever type of a house they want to build. How do you secure investors' funds when they invest with you? Just if you can elaborate that for us. So I want to explain that in two ways. Yeah. Uh, one is, for example, when I'm doing a larger project, like building the apartments that you're talking about, either in Ruaka or in Westlands. Yeah. So that we open an escrow account. So the moment we open that escrow account is specifically for that project. The moment I finish that project, then the money will be transferred to me. So the, the, the investors put money into this escrow account. Okay. And that money will not be used to build, yeah. neither will it be used to buy land. If you have the interest in this area, this is our working plan. You pay 50%, the balance will be paid within a period of 12 months. Yeah. And that money is secure in a way that I'm not using it to do construction. So I'll source the funds, put it, you know, complete the project. And then upon completion, I exchange the keys, I get the money transfer. Wow. Wow. That's one. Wow. The other one is those people, individual people. For example, somebody tells me, I want to build my retirement home in Kakamega or anywhere else they want to build. And it's one unit. So for him, I'll tell him simply, what we do, we open a joint account. Okay, we can open a joint account where he's a signatory. So they put the funds into this joint account. In other words, I cannot withdraw the funds myself. Yeah. And they cannot withdraw the funds without my signature. Mine is to create that confidence that whatever funds I'm putting in that piece of land, which is not mine, I don't own it, yeah. that I'll have the funds paid back to me. Uh, so Karuki can add something on that? Okay, adding on retirement homes, uh, the kind of retirement homes you're doing is not just a house. We don't want you to retire in just a house. Yeah. There are amenities you want to put around. And uh, these are shared amenities, for example, 
When you're old enough, you want to be seeing people around you. So even if you have your own compound, we want you to be open to other people. We want to be able to access some amenities like walk path uh, and gym. Uh, Swimming pool if it's possible. Yeah. We also want to have a nursing center oh. where by, by call, if something happens to you, you can just make a call and then you are attended to. Then we want to put up uh, a small restaurant. You don't have to cook in your house. And a, and a hall where maybe men can meet and talk, watch football yeah. together. A clubhouse. A clubhouse like yeah. of that nature. We, we want people to retire peacefully in an, or in a better way. For example, I cannot retire in the village simply because I retire with the cows. <laughs> I don't want to retire with the cows. You don't want to tune out there every day. You can have like-minded people together, as my brother said. Yeah. Maybe you are a team of doctors, you are a team of uh, professionals. People you can mingle with, people you can understand each other. You have a barbecue area where you can take some nyama choma there. You, you know, you, you have a lot. Retire with, the, with style. Yeah, we style with <laughs> style. That's what, what that, that is what you're looking retiring at. In style is the you are thing. retiring in style. Actually, the same life you are having up there, now we are improving it. You know, I know in uh, diaspora, most of the people, because they are busy, they don't have social life or yeah. those kind of things. Now we want to put you in a social cycle whereby you are so comfortable and the people allowed you, you have common uh, issues. Maybe you have shared in the US or something like that. Yeah. So th that's what we are looking for. The kind of life that you've lived in, you don't want yes, to yes, yes, yes. Of it. Some so things can be uh, automated, like gates can be automated. The same you have them outside there, so that now you enjoy the same life you have lived, you have lived there. The couple of uh, paved driveways, some areas actually where we are looking at the land, there's uh, water signalies, there's a dam, you know you can walk around the dam, you can do some fishing, all those kind of things, a very nice area for you. So if you're interested, go to our website, make an inquiry, then we come back to you. So uh, for retirement homes, currently we have a big piece of land, uh, which is on Katanga Road, a said called Katanga Road, with yes. a blue post. Yeah. It's a road that goes to Katanga. It's mm. about seven kilometers from there. And it's beautiful scenery. They have even um, what you call the man-made lakes. Wow. Uh, those people like jet skis. It's a nice place you can actually do jet skis. This is one of the areas that we are recommending people to retire to. So if you're interested in this area kindly, please email us give us your information and you put you among the people that are in that area. Uh, we, we, it's a big piece of land, but uh, well, we want to start it small. So the first... In bits. Yeah, in bits. Uh, it's about 400 acres, but uh, we want to do it uh, maybe 5 acres, 10, 15 acres uh, in small yes. portions. So if you want to be among the first people, uh, give us uh, a call. Actually, you can also email us. So it's amazing. And uh, before they do their parting shot, uh, check their website, uh, familiarize yourself with the questions, the FAQs, and uh, just call them when you've decided on uh, the project that you want. And uh, yeah, the last time we did a video, uh, he got a lot of referrals, calls, questions, and uh, which is good. So uh, I hope you guys will also do the same as you build your life in whatever country you are, in whatever region you are in. They are very trustful, they're, they're very trusted. and. Uh, it's a great opportunity for you guys to invest without fear in the country. So, yeah, uh, Mr. Karoki, you can give us some of your last words. Uh, thank you, everyone. Thank you for actually getting time to watch this video. We are grateful and we are looking forward to do something different than what you have had before. And we are hopeful to God that God will give us enough grace when to be able to deliver what you are trusting us with. God bless you. Uh, Mr. Fred? So, people watch African Traveller. I want to appreciate you so much. Uh, and I think, um, uh, was it the first time we met, I was asking you how you started to do these kind of videos because they are an eye opener. You know, there are people who are doing the right thing, but they are not known. Yeah. Those who are those, like my brother usually see the bad ones have preceded us, they have gone they before have, us. We ahead, we ahead. So, uh, and for us, I think we are, we, we are, I would say we are low profile, we are, we are not like, you don't know, like all over, but because of you, uh, we've been able to, I mean, to share our ideas and I never knew the impact of our ideas. 
until I met you. Uh, and I came to realize that uh, you, you are impacting people in different ways. Uh, recently, I've gotten calls from Japan, some Kenyans <laughs> living in Japan. Wow. Uh, it's connecting me with other Kenyans living in China. <laughs> wow. I've gotten a lot of calls from uh, Europe. Mm -hmm. Actually, we are even doing a project for a group in Europe. They have a big land uh, in Konza just because of you. It's, it's, it shows that it's the, the people are changing the narrative and also uh, you're exposing the people doing the right thing, which is uh, I appreciate. So uh, thank you so much for viewing this video and keep watching what uh, African Traveler is doing. I really appreciate his efforts um, and actually giving the right stories to, to change how Africa has been viewed uh, by the, the rest of the world. So thank you so much. So actually from the time we met, uh, from mm -hmm. the, uh, the time we were doing the video, remember I was doing, uh, I was preparing for a handover for that project. Yes, yes, yes. So far from the time we met, which is about six months, seven months, I yes, guess, yes. Uh, we are almost completing three projects. So the one that we took the, the first video on, yes. that one was handed over. Uh, we, we did Roaka, yeah. we Zuri, did Zuri Rich, and now we are handing over Kitsusuru, wow. uh, Kitsusuru Nexus. Uh, wow. which you should be coming up in the next, uh, is it one or two months? Mm. Yeah. So in the, with, with the span of less than six months? Yeah, so we'll, be had over, over three projects. we'll be handing over three projects. We have handed over three projects. Yes, I don't know uh, where else you want to, where else you find uh, trusted companies. So, yeah, mine is to show you guys and yours is to make a decision and a choice. Yeah, I hope you make the right one. So guys, thank you so much uh, for the kind words. I really appreciate and uh, yeah, uh, as we said, it's time to tell our own stories and share the exciting things that you guys hardly see. And uh, yeah, if you have a unique story such as what they're doing, stories that impact people's life, uh, having different ways of doing the normal things people do, like how you come in as an investor, uh, if you want to, re to do a retirement home, you know, these are things that uh, Many, 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 many people around the world have been duped, but when you have a reliable company, reliable people, uh, trusted uh, people, and people who don't fear to put their face on the camera and say, this project is being done by us, and uh, people were really humble, it's amazing, and we just pray that uh, Delta Homes grows to different heights so that so many people around Africa can be impacted greatly. So with that, we come to the end of our day today, and don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and if you have an amazing amazing story please reach uh, reach reach out to us we always pick your calls or email and yeah we can impact other people yes so i will i uh, will be keeping touch with uh, fred on the progress and the projects they do so that you guys can be seeing more and more uh, not every other month but probably every other year or every other six months just to show you guys uh, the project uh, they're doing uh, the progress they're making and i uh, sure most of you guys uh, will be blessed will be lucky to invest with them and as well as those who are starting to make a, to make some cash you can start planning as you plan to invest with them we are hosting a very nice unique event whereby Delta homes the guys we hosted sometimes back on our channel are today going to give out these houses so the houses are complete I remember when we were doing the video the houses were still far from completion so today's a beautiful day and uh, Delta home is going to hand over this house to the investors who had a dream so everything starts with a dream and uh, the dream that they had while back in the US is right now coming to fruition so in this today in this event today we're going to have uh, family representative I hope I will get to see some of them I will hope I'll get to talk to some of them uh, I hope I'll get to see some of the homeowners hope they are here so we're going to take a minute just to uh, interview one of the happy customers she's gonna tell us more about the project of, of more about what they invested in and Karanja yes yes mama James Karanja yes good so guys um so with me is Anne Karanja the mother of James Karanja and she's gonna tell us more about this project so mommy can you tell us how you had the project or who are you representing in the project are you the investor or you're representing somebody I'm representing my son yes. James Karanja yes. who is in US yes uh, he is the one who decided to invest in this project. Yeah. He told me more about it, and he, trust, he trusted those people so much. 
So that this is this is when, like, uh, when did he start mm. playing? Uh, it was um, yeah, 2020, I think. 2020. Yes, that's wow. where when I I heard about it. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> nah, he yes. told me he is he is investing around here. Around here in Ruaka. Wow. And, and he was he was so excited, and I also I was so excited too, and I I started praying for it. Okay. Because I was happy for him to think that he can invest here. Back home. Yes, back home. That's yes, amazing. and uh, I, would, I would encourage young people yes. from who are working in the U.S. Yes. to invest here. He had been telling me that um, those people who are managing this project, mm -hmm. they are managing it with a lot of integrity. And so he trusted them so much. Yeah. And did you have any like, fears with this kind of investment? In fact, I trust my son more than I trust myself. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> when he told me that there are yeah. some people who are, whom you want to invest with, yeah. I started praying for it because me, I believe that he can never go wrong. With uh, investing back at home? Yes. Well, and mm. uh, so your son has been in the U.S. for how long? He went there in 2017. 2017? Yeah. Amazing. Mm -hmm. So today we're going to show James his house yes. <laughs> when you're going to handover. So this yes. is our first uh, interview for the day yes. uh, on the official day for the handover. So how do you feel about this day, Mami? That, I'm so uh, happy. Your son gave you his dream and right <laughs> now you're going to see it fruition. How do you feel about it? I'm so happy and I was so excited. I, will, I was looking forward to come here. In fact, I was the, uh, I was the first one to arrive. We, we, found, we, we, we got her here. She was already here when yeah. you arrived. So. I was the first one to come here because I was so excited. In wow. fact, I didn't sleep. I wow. woke up at six. At six? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And uh, while the project has been going on, have you been coming on and off? I have never come here. You've never I have been following here? it in the Google. In the media. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I have never come because here. Because they but have I'm a number of groups where they update mm -hmm. the progress and everything. Yeah. Oh, Santi mm -hmm. So happy yeah. client. Yeah. And I'm really happy to know that you are really happy and we are praying for the best, all the best for your son. Yes. And uh, for the future project that he may, he may invest as well <coughs> yes. in the country. Yeah. Asante sana mami. So guys, on our list today, we also have Esther here, who is here for handover. And uh, she's so excited. I think that will be one or two things about uh, how you, uh, who you're are you, are you here on your own or you're representing somebody? Um, I'm representing my aunt. Yeah. Her name is Lucy Kiari. Yeah. Yes, she's in California. Yes. California, US. Yes. She's been there for a while. Huh? Yes. Wow. So have you been uh, f uh, watching the project on her behalf? Or? Yes, because she's not here. She has sent me to represent her. Wow. So yeah. how do you see the project? Oh, wow. Lovely. Lovely. I love the houses are beautiful. They're spacious. <laughs> they are beautiful. The project is Fantastic. Fantastic. Have you been coming all, on and on just to follow the progress no. for the... This is my first time. Oh, it's your first time? Yes. Wow. But I have loved them. Did you... Um, did you uh, thought the project would be like uh, what it is today? Or how did you think about the project when you heard about it? No, I have visited other projects. Yeah. But uh, this one is something. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah, good job. Good so, job. so how would yeah. you tell them when you're going to US? When you're going to US, you want to invest on, the, on these projects. Yes. Just go on, trust these guys. They are real, the houses are there, they are good, they are spacious and beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. So guys, a dream finally come to fruition and I hope your auntie will be happy to see she the will. final. I would like to just say thank you uh, to everyone, um, everybody who has ensured that this journey um, never stalled or stopped. Um, thank you to everybody who stepped in one way or the other and especially to uh, Fred, who was leading uh, the team in ensuring that Zuri came to its fruition. So I'm, I'm looking forward to many, many more projects uh, with Fred and Delta team and also with members of the Zuri. Uh, this was a learning curve. 
uh, this taught us a lot of things and I believe we can take all that that we learned and put together into uh, many 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 more projects that is going to come up in the near future. So thank you everybody. Uh, our website is www.deltahomes.co.ke we also have several emails. One is info at deltahomes.co.ke and sales at deltahome.co.ke. If you email us through those emails, you will definitely get a response from us. So with that, come to the end of our day today and say, peace out.